I'm Nicole, this is the Midwest Teen Sex Show, and this episode we're talking about The China's America's True Heroes The basic anatomy is more complex than you'd imagine, but don't let that get you down. With all the useless crap they make you learn in school, like world history, it can be a welcome break to educate yourself about the vagina. Skew me! Skew me! Mm, down here! Vagina? Hi! Hey, we need to talk! Yeah, later. No, now! You've been ignoring me all your life and it's not fair! I'm lonely! You're weird and gross! No, I'm not! I'm beautiful! I'm the source of life and good times! Good times are for sluts. Knowing your body doesn't make you a slut. It makes you awesome! So touch me! Feel me! Put a dick in me! Put two dicks in me! Scissors! The outside of your girly parts are technically called the vulva, and the internal parts are the vagina. You may have noticed that we, and most awesome people, call the whole thing the vagina, and we're okay with being wrong. If you want to learn more sciency names for this stuff, like labia majora, oz, hymen, just look at this diagram and memorize it. Okay, I understand I got, I got roommates, but why do I gotta share everything? Every time I bring a man up in here, he gone. Every time I bring food up in here, it gone. Hold up! Who the bitch ate my hot dogs? V, I'm looking at you, girl. I just eat because I'm bored. I'm sorry, those were yours? Damn straight they were mine! Apparently what's mine is yours, y'all! I can't seem to bring a piece of meat up in this sh- I feel so empty inside. Without you shoving it down your throat! Stop fighting! Tori, girl, I love you, but you're way too sensitive! They just rubbed me the wrong way. And you! Stop eating my mother- Ra ra. I don't know what you're doing here, but you're pissing me off! It's what I do. There are a lot of jokes made about how the box smells. Since girls are delicate and sensitive beings, they take this stuff seriously. The odor is going to change depending on the time of the month or what you eat. So if you just eat vagina, your vagina will always smell like vagina. If you're using soaps or sprays, things are just going to get stinky. And as for douches, would you date one? No. So don't use them. It'll cost ya. I gotta order a foreign part. It'll be here in a month. There's gotta be a better way. There is. It's called Gynosol. Does your vagina smell like a dead hooker on a shrimpin' boat? You need Gynosol, the one and only discharging disinfectant made by your body for your body. Gynosol. But where do I buy it? You can't. It's already inside of you. Gynosol. Thanks, Gynosol. 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 Strong enough for a mangina, pH balanced for a woman hole. Other things that can cause stinkiness are leaving semen all up inside yourself, not changing your tampon when you should, wearing pants or undies that are too tight, or pooping in your vag hole. There is a myth that girls who take a lot of dick get loose vaginas. This isn't true. While having lots of babies will eventually change the size, it also increases blood flow to your genitalia. So let's all get knocked up and have hella good sex. Don't be ashamed of the look of your vulva. If you've seen graphic porn and things don't seem to match up, just check out some Giorgio O'Keefe paintings and you'll soon learn that all of our special flowers look a little bit different. That's it. I'm cutting them off. Hard day at learning place? Everyone makes fun of me. My labia are huge and I run like a boy. They're jealous. You run like mad like real women should. In Vagistonia, they measure value of women by length of labia. You should be proud of your eight inches. Now this is America. <coughs> On your America! In Vagistonia, I rope cattle with my labia. I save boys from well. Mom, my You ever meet man who think dick too big? Lubrication varies from lady to lady, with some needing a little extra and some needing to put down the sawdust. If your vagina is as dry as a cow's udder come wintertime, we recommend a water-based lubricant free of scents and flavors. <coughs> Discharge is your friend. You can often tell if you have an infection if it's stinky, chunky, or green, or has bits of ham in it. In America, yeast infection seen as shame of whore. In the Vagistonia, yeast infection feed whole village. Help support the show and our vaginas by going to our distributor, coldcast.tv. Jen Leary is an incredibly intelligent girl who has this kind of nerdy, techie, web-savvy side, but she's also very social and enjoys going out. It's going to be a highly entertaining show. There's a lot of interesting internet world techie stuff, but there's also a lot of drama and there's, there's conflicts that everybody can relate to. And now, 
I'm going to go look at my front butt.